frustrated is what the Canucks looked like when they lost this game against the Montreal Canadiens 5-2. And honestly, I share that feeling. Now let's talk about the game. First of all, the player I really want to talk about is Elias Pedersen. And that's because he scored his first goal of the season in this game, which means he played well, right? Sadly, that just really isn't the case. Once again, he looked really unconfident. He bobbled the puck so many times. He missed the net so many times too. And this was so frustrating to watch because when the puck came to him on the power play, we were like, oh no, please don't lose it, please don't lose it. Which is something that normally you never have to worry about with Elias Pedersen. But now I want to talk about a player that I think played his best game of the season. That player being Oli Levy. He was the opposite of Elias Pedersen tonight. He was confident on the puck. He skated really well. And look at this shot block. He blocked Shea Weber's shot. He has the hardest slapper in the entire National Hockey League. Even though he did play well, he wasn't extremely lucky. So Yoveli hits the post on a pretty good opportunity. This miss then creates a breakaway from the Montreal Canadiens. Druin to be exact. And he scores, making the score 2-0 for the Montreal Canadiens. That one really hurt. Then, as mentioned, PD scores a goal. And also, Niels Hoglander scored his second goal of the season. Hoglander was also one of the best players of this game. He just skated really, really well and was pretty physical. Now, can you believe it? Niels Hoglander has scored more goals than Elias Pedersen. And normally, scoring more than Elias Pedersen is a pretty big deal. But considering his production, this year it really isn't. So yes, the Canucks were tied at 2-2. Two to two. They had a great offensive possession. They were moving the puck around really well. And then JT Miller gives the puck away. And Montreal scores on the breakaway. The Canucks were dominating in the zone. And then JT Miller has to give it away so stupidly. And then he just stays there. He doesn't go on the back check. He just stays there. And then Montreal scores. That goal was resulted in the game winning goal and that's the real problem with the Canucks because it seems that every single goal that the other teams score against them is takeaways. I mean there must have been like a thousand takeaways from the Canucks in this game alone. I don't know what they have to do to stop giving away the puck but they have to do something because this is just unacceptable. So the Canucks are now 2-7 and seven in this season which means they They've only gotten 4 points of a possible 14 points. And in this year, that just can't happen. Because for example, if the Canucks won this game, they would be 2 points away from the Montreal Canadiens. And now because they lost, they are 6 points away. Which really shows that every single point just matters so much more. And really, all of this has happened because the Canucks stars haven't been able to produce. I'm talking about Mill. Horvat, Pedersen, all these guys that should be carrying the team. We need to find a way to get something going. This honestly feels like it's just a bad dream. Because I remember at the end of the postseason last year, I did a Canucks review episode. And I was talking about, oh, how they took a huge step forward and that the best is yet to come. But now when you see how they're playing compared to how they play in the playoffs, it seems like they've taken like a thousand steps back. Is this partly because of Jim Benning? Yes. But I mean, the team definitely isn't helping him out. And this clip perfectly shows how the Canucks are feeling right now. Literally, a player from the past, Tyler Toffoli, running over our goaltender. So now the Canucks are going to be versing the Ottawa Senators. I really think that these next couple games are going to determine the future of the Canucks for this season. I know this is a really bold assumption, but losing a couple more games in a row is just really hard to come back from. Anyways, again, I hope this is the last ranked video I'm going to do, so I'm counting on you Canucks. And I'll see you in the next video.